hear a just cause, Lord, and attend to our prayer. Check it, you guys. Let my vindication come from your presence. Woo, my God. David, it says, Psalm 17, a priestly prayer by King David, the worshiping warrior or the warring worshiper. Wow. Either one of those sounds really good, doesn't it? Hear a just cause, O oh Lord, attend unto my prayer. Hear a just cause, hear a just cause, O oh Lord, and attend unto my prayer. Ah, hear a just cause, Jesus. Hear it just cause, oh Lord, attend unto my prayer. Hear it just cause, oh Lord, attend unto my prayer. Second part, verse 2, and let my vindication come from your presence, Lord, and my vindication is coming forth from your presence. I love it. My vindication will come from your presence, O oh Lord. Let my vindication, yeah, let my vindication come forth from your presence, Lord, my God. Let my vindication come forth from your presence, O oh Lord. Let my vindication come forth from your presence, O oh Lord. So Psalm 17, verses 1 and 2, they cried out, Hear a just cause, O oh Lord. Please attend unto my prayer. Hear a just cause. Hear a just cause, oh Lord. I'm pleading, hear my prayer. Hear a just cause, oh Lord. Yeah. Hear a just cause. Don't you love that? He hears a just cause and he attends to our prayer. Hear a just cause, oh Lord, and attend unto our prayer. Let my vindication, let my vindication come forth from your presence, Lord. Well, my vindication is coming forth from your presence. My vindication is coming forth from your presence, oh Lord. My vindication, my vindication is coming forth from your presence, Lord. My vindication, coming forth from your presence. My vindication, coming forth from your presence. Oh, hear a just cause, a just cause. The priestly prayer of King David. And oh, hear a just cause, oh Lord, and attend unto our prayer. Yeah, hear a just cause. I just think it's so important, just causes all over the earth. I've been hearing Lou Engel, Carla's been pulling him up every day about ending the modern day holocaust of abortion. Hear a just cause, I was so drawn to this. On Matthew, my son's birthday, in the name of Jesus, what a reminder Hear a just cause, Lord. What is the just cause that you're crying out for right now before the Lord? Because he said, I'm going to hear a just cause, and I will attend and answer your prayer. Maybe you've been praying, you've been treated unjustly at work, or something in a relationship went sour. Well, this is the day and hour, he said, I will hear a just cause. Tending to your prayer. 
He's the God that hears a just cause. I'm hearing your just cause, said the Lord, attending to your prayer. I am the God that hears your just cause. I'm attending to your prayer. Just cause, oh Lord, you attend to our prayer. This is the word of God we're singing. Oh, I know my vindication comes from your presence, Lord. I know my vindication comes from your presence. I know my vindication comes from your presence, oh can you imagine David penning this song? What was he praying about? I know my vindication comes from your presence, Lord, yeah. I know my vindication comes from your... Think about that, you guys, the vindication of the Lord. He said, I'll make sure it's done because it's going to come from my presence. <laughs> I said, what? Woo, what, Lord? Here are just causes, Lord. I'm pleading, attend to my prayer. You're the God that hears just causes, Lord. You're attending to our prayers. Sing it out again. You're the God who hears just causes, and you're a, come on, have faith in God. Things are changing by the hand of the Lord, by the Holy Spirit. Things are changing personally. Every city, every county, every state, every nation, because of the living God. Let me see the hearts and thumbs flying on that, you people. Yeah. You're the God who hears just causes. You're attending to our prayers. Yeah. You're the God who hears just causes. You're attending to our prayers. Come on, that little bridge now. Yeah. Let my vindication. It's coming forth from your presence, Lord, yeah. A vindication is coming forth from your presence, Lord. Yeah. My vindication is coming forth from your presence, oh, Lord. Yeah. My vindication is coming forth from your presence, Lord. My vindication is coming forth. Come on, let's count on it, you guys. Sing it with me. Let's stay on it for a minute. And you submit your challenging situation, problem, whatever it is. We sing it over there right now. And I, my vindication justice comes forth from your presence lord my vindication my justice comes forth from your presence lord this is the word of god psalm 17 hear a just cause oh lord and attend to my cry and my vindication comes forth from your presence. Father, we have come to bow down. Now let's worship. Let's adore him and cast all your cares on the Lord. Today, cast every one of your cares on the Lord. First Peter 5, 7, isn't it awesome? Casting all my cares on you. First Peter. And here we worship and adore God. Father, we have come to bow down in your shore. Lifting up our hearts, we 
the lover of my soul. Hallelujah. Check it. With all of heaven, we are singing. With all of heaven, we so free. We're released in the presence of the Lord. lifting us right now. Bright and morning star, bright and morning star, your eyes blaze like fire. Shining like the sun, wow, your Yeah. 
shining like the sun you are one desire land on it now that you are one you are one deep tell the lord you Worship the Lord. Come on, lift your hands and lift your heart and your voice. Sing to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. We enter into your presence in deep worship. Entering into your presence. Here it is, deep worship. Entering into your presence, oh Lord, oh, in your presence, in deep worship. It's here right now, you're touching our hearts. It's here right now, you're touching our hearts. Here right now, you're touching our hearts, Lord. Rest now, rest in His presence right there. It's here right now, you're touching our hearts over and over again, Lord. You help us every day. I'm touching my heart. touching my the the anointing lift of the lord is here the lift of the holy spirit is right here do no no oh the anointing of the lord the lift of the holy spirit you should feel it now it's flowing like a river deep and wide oh the anointing lift the anointing lift, the anointed lift of the Lord, and oh, every heart and every mind. Yeah. You guys ready? We're going to return to the song, Alleluia, all the angels. All the angels cry holy. Replies, oh, holy are you, yeah, and all the angels cry out, holy is the Lord God, all the earth replies, oh, holy. 
you somewhere right now. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Holy, holy. With all the angels we join up today. Holy, holy. In your presence, Lord. In your presence, Lord. In your presence, Lord. In your presence, O oh Lord. in his presence for a minute. we rest in his presence. I really felt the Lord say, Kent, don't be in a hurry today on this Monday. He said, rest. You're going to need it. You're going to need the rest and refreshing for the days that are coming. Merry Christmas and into the new year. There's a whole new year awaiting us. Just 31 days from now, a brand new year of destiny and future. And so the song I brought, I haven't done it for a while, is here now. It was a favorite of our stream for at least a couple of weeks. The skies, this is hills. They sent a worship team and a video team to Israel, and they did, I think it was 15 of their top songs on the ground in Israel. Wow. Skies spin their dance within your breath. Skies spin their dance within your breath. Time runs its race within your hand. My mind runs wild to comprehend. What no mind on earth could understand. Do it again. Sky spin. Sky spin their dance within your the breath of the Lord. Time runs its race within your hand. My mind runs wild to comprehend. But no mind on earth could understand. Your ways are higher. Your ways are higher. Your thoughts. 
hearts are wilder Love came like madness Poured out in blood wash romance It makes no sense But this is grace I know you're with me in this place Here now I still my heart Let your voice be all I hear now Fix my eyes on the things that I can't see Spirit, breathe like the wind, come have your way. So I know that you are here now. Yeah, still my heart, your voice is all I hear now. I fix my eyes on the things that I can't see now the spirit breathe like the wind come have your way like the wind come have your way we sit before you Lord I know you're touching hearts today with your strength with your refreshing, with your strength, you're touching hearts, you're touching every heart and mind. With your strength and your refreshing. Ah. Faith makes a fool of what makes sense. Grace found my heart where logic ends. When justice called for all my death, the friend of sinners came instead. Sing it again. Faith makes a fool. Faith makes a fool of what makes sense. Grace found my heart where logic ends. When justice called for all my debts, get this now, get this. The friend of sinners came in this the Jesus. <laughs> the name, the friend of sinners. And the Pharisees mocked Jesus and asked the disciples, why does he eat with the sinners? He eats with the tax collectors. And Jesus knew their thoughts. He said, I didn't come for the, the well and those that are well off that, that don't need healing. I came for the sick. I came for those that need the touch of heaven. You are here now. Still my heart, let your voice be all I hear. Fix my eyes on the things that I can't see now. A spirit breathe like the wind come have your way. Come on, I want you to sing that right now with all your strength, with your whole heart. You are here now. I still my heart. Let your voice be all I hear now. And fix my eyes on the things that I can't. Eternity, give us a vision, Lord. Give us understanding of eternity. Eternal weight and eternity as its own item, God, that we will know and understand the power of yeah. The power of the life to come. What'd you say, Ken? 
I said it's the power of the life to come. Show us your ways, show us your heart. Oh, it's the power of the life to come. Yeah, way beyond this life on this earth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You show us, you show us the power of the life to come. Oh, the power of the life to come, Lord. Uh, show us your ways. Yeah. Oh, the power of the life to Come, you lead us and you guide us in the holy way, in the ancient past, in the ancient, in the ancient. You lead us in the everlasting way. Lead us in the everlasting way. I love that, man. You lead us in the everlasting way. Oh, you lead us in the everlasting way. Oh, well, strength and re receive today I'm looking at you and I'm saying receive the strength and the refreshing oh, I'm looking at you receive the strength and the refreshing of the Lord it's like a transmission from his presence right now I dig it totally and we're off to Psalms 17 17 Carla Seventeen. Oh, yes. So, she's she's going to read the scriptures and pray us in, Carla. Psalm 17 is a cry for justice. Hear a just cause, Lord. A priestly prayer by King David. Yes, Lord. God, today we make this our prayer, not just David's prayer. We cry out to you for justice, for vindication comes from your presence. God, don't ever take your presence away from us, God. We look to you. We look to you. Our eyes are on you. You say you make us the apple of your eye, but our, our eyes are on you, God. And we will only be satisfied when we awaken to your likeness. Psalm 17, verse 1. Hear a just cause, O oh Lord. Attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer, which is not from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from your presence. Let your eyes look on the things that are upright. I am pleading for your help, O oh Lord, for I have been honest and have done what is right. Listen to my earnest cry. Listen, O Eternal One, to my cry for justice. These words of mine are true. Turn your ear toward me. Announce that I am free of all the charges against me. Wow. Only you can see into my heart to know that to be true. Treat me with fairness. Look at me with justice. Listen to me, Lord. Hear the passionate prayer of this honest man. It's my piercing cry for justice. My cause is just and my need is real. I've done what's right and my lips speak truth. Lord, I always live my life before your face. So examine and exonerate me. Vindicate me and show the world I'm innocent. Hear the passionate prayer of this honest man. I've got a piercing cry coming from my heart for justice, Lord. Hear the passionate, hear the passionate prayer of my heart from this honest man. I've got a piercing cry for justice. I've got a piercing cry for justice. I've got a piercing cry for justice. Hear my heart, Lord. I will always live my life before your faith. 
I will always live my life before your face. Here we are, here we are again today. I will always live my life before your face. I will always live my life before your face. I will always live my life before your face. Check that out. The priestly prayer of David. Come on, get with me now. Here we go. Oh, and I will always live my life before your face. I will always live my life before your face. Hear my cry for justice, Lord. Hear my cry for justice. And I will always live my life before your face. Wow. I will always live my life before your face. Hear my cry for justice, O oh Lord. And I will always live my life before your face. I will always live my life before your face. Hear my cry, Lord. Hear a just cause, yeah. your face I will always live my life isn't that awesome you guys you got it in your spirit to verses 3 and 4 Psalm 17 is my friend what <laughs> the Psalms the book of Psalms they are my friends <laughs> that was for free just wanted to let you know that for sure and then he said you have tested my heart you visited me in the night. You have tried me, Lord. You've examined me and found nothing evil. Wow, what a statement. You've examined me and my heart and found nothing evil, Lord. Wow, David, you're so... It's a prayer. I have purpose that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of your lips, Lord, I have kept away from the pass of the destroyer. I'm not totally sure what those are, but I think it'd be a good thing to stay away from the pass of the destroyer. Hear it one more time, verse 4. Concerning the works of men and by the words of your lips, I have kept away from the pass of the destroyer. You have searched me, Lord my heart and my soul you awakened me from dreaming and tested me you found nothing against me wow I resolve not to sin in what I say oh Ken could you say it three times sure Th this would be a good thing for every believer every nation especially America why don't we resolve not to sin with our mouth and what we're saying and cursing stuff and wow hope and encouragement will lead the way that's what the Lord said the path violent men have followed I will not travel wow the path violent men have followed I will not travel that path Lord violence is not my way your ways and your voice now guide my journey so your ways and your voice now guide me in my journey. I have shunned the path of the oppressors and I've avoided lawless behavior. You probed my heart, Lord, and you visited me in the night and you put me to the test without finding evil thoughts. And these should not pass my lips anyway. That's a complete Jewish Bible. It said, you probed my heart. You visited me in the night. And you put me to the test without finding evil thoughts that should not pass through my lips anyway. For in a visitation of the night, you inspected my heart. You refined my soul in fire. Wow. You inspected my heart, Lord, and refined my soul in fire until nothing vile was found in me. Wow. 
I want in my words and my ways to always agree. What was that? He said, I've wanted my words and my ways to always agree. I don't want to act one way and speak another. Following your word has kept me from wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, right there. Stop right there. No. Following your word has kept me from wrong. Yeah. Following your Bible has kept me from wrong. Has kept me from wrong. Yeah. Following your word has kept me from wrong. And here I am today. Your ways are molded in my footsteps in my heart, Lord. And well, following your word has kept me from doing wrong. Yeah, yeah. Following your word has kept me from doing wrong, doing wrong. Following your word, following your word and your way has kept me from doing wrong and your ways have molded my footsteps keeping me from going down the forbidden path of the destroyer your ways have molded my footsteps Lord keeping me from going down the forbidden path of the destroyer and we remain Lord in your word Following your word has kept us, and it will keep us all the days of our life from doing wrong. Verses 5 and 6. Uphold my steps in your paths, that my footsteps may not slip. I have called upon you, for you will hear me, O God. Incline your ear to me and hear my speech. I will press on moving steadfastly forward along your path. Wow, wow. I will not look back. I will not stumble. I am crying aloud to you, O true God, for I long to know your answer. Hear me, O God. Hear my plea. Hear my prayer for help. My steps hold firm to your footprints. My tread, my walk wavers not. Therefore, I entreat you, for you will answer me. Give me audience. Hear what I have to say. My steps follow in the tracks of your chariot wheels, always staying in their path, never straying from your way. You will answer me, God. I know you always will like you always do as you listen with love to my every prayer. As you listen with love to my every prayer. Verse 7, show your marvelous loving kindness, Lord. It's by your right hand, O you who save, O you who deliver those who trust in you. You deliver from those who rise up against us, Lord. Show your marvelous loving kindness. It's by your right hand, O oh, you who save. Put your marvelous love on display for all to see, for you are the liberator. This is the voice translation. Hear this, you guys. Lord, you are the liberator of those who long for shelter beside you. Hey, thank you very much. You are the liberator of those who shelter in you. Shelter in you. You are the liberator of those who shelter in you. You are the love that you are the liberator of those who shelter in you yeah. you are the liberator of those who shelter in you you're the sure foundation we're going to sing that again 
You guys with me? Here we go. Uh, uh, you are the liberator of those who shelter in you. Uh, you are the liberator of those who shelter in you. Uh, you are the liberator for those who shelter in you. And you shelter us from those who rise up against us as well, Lord. We appreciate that. For you set them safely away from their enemies, ever welcomed by your grace and your presence. Make clear the wonder of your mercy. Make clear the wonder of your mercy, verse 7 says, O Savior. Savior of those who put their faith in your right hand. Whoa. Magnify the marvels of your mercy, Lord. Magnify the marvels of your mercy. Three M's. You guys grab a hold of that. You can remember that even tomorrow, even next Friday, even next month. Magnify the marvels of your mercy to all who seek you. Make your pure one wonderful to me like you do for all those who turn aside to hide themselves in you. We magnify the marvels of your mercy with our song and our worship, Lord, like you do for all those who turn aside. They turn aside to hide themselves in you. Verse 8 and 9. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who oppress me. From my deadly enemies who surround me. Keep close watch over me as the apple of your eye. Shelter me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from the wicked who are poised to attack from the enemies swarming around me and closing in quickly. Protect me like the delicate pupil of the eye. Shelter me within your shielding power. Protect me from harm. Jesus. Keep an eye on me Jesus. like you would a child, Jesus. like a son or a daughter who are reflected in the twinkling of your eye. Yes, hide me within the shelter of your embrace under your outstretched wings like the mercy seat where sacred blood was sprinkled in the holy of holies protect me there under your outstretched wings from all my foes for there are too many who surround my soul to completely destroy me keep me as the apple As the apple, Lord, of your eye, hide me in the shadow. Oh, yes, hide me in the shadow of your wing, of your wing. Hide me in the shadow. Come on, sing it out in the shadow of your wing. Yeah. Hide me, you hide me in the shadow of your wing. You hear my cry. Do keep me as the apple of your eye, and I am hidden in the shadow. In the shelter of your wings, keep me, keep me as the apple of your eye. You are my hiding place. You are my hiding place. You are my hiding place, O oh Lord. I Shadow of your wings, 
protect me from harm and you keep me like the one would keep and watch over a child like a son or a daughter it's so beautiful Lord you keep us this is a promise it's right here in Psalm 17 oh, no. verse 10 11 and 12 they have closed up their fat heart to pity. I'm telling you exactly what the New King James said. When I first saw it, I said, Lord, am I gonna have to skip, skip that scripture? He goes, no way. It says they've closed, closed up their proud heart to compassion. Wow, not good. They have closed up their fat heart to pity. And with their mouths, they're speaking proudly. Verse 11. They have now surrendered, surrounded us in our steps. They have set their eyes crouching down to the earth as a lion is eager to tear his prey. Like a young lion lurking in secret places. This are our enemies, Lord like clay baking in the sun wow their hearts have hardened Woo! like clay baking in the sun their hearts have hardened and arrogance spills from their mouth see we don't need to be offended you guys i mean the lord's saying hey they're they're sinners there's people proud and arrogant on the earth but don't let it bother you you're under the shadow of my wing Verse 11, it goes on, and they've tracked me down like a quarry, Lord. They're surrounding me and are poised to throw me down into the dirt. Like a lion crouching in the brush. They are ready to tear me apart like young lions in their hiding places. They're poised to strike. My enemies have encircled me with murder in their eyes. Wow. They are pitiless and they're very arrogant. Listen to their boasting, Lord. They close in upon me and are ready to throw me to the ground. They are like lions eager to tear me apart. The young lions hiding and waiting their chance. And then the passion finishes. They are pitiless, heartless, hard as nails, swollen with pride and filled with arrogance. See how they close in on me, waiting for the chance to throw me to the ground. They're like lions eager to tear me apart like young and fearless lions, lurking in secret, so ferocious and cruel, ready to rip me to shreds. Hear me now. Look at me, you guy. You are my great covering. You are my great covering. And under the shadow of your wings, my enemies cannot go there. You are my great covering. Ah. You are my great covering, and under the shadow of your wings, my enemies cannot come in there. You are my great covering, Lord. You are my great covering. Under the shadow of your wings, my enemies cannot come in there. You are my great covering, yeah. You are my great covering, and under the shadow of your wings, my enemies are not allowed to come in there. Some of you were saying, how's Kent going to sing that? <laughs> I thought it earlier this afternoon when I was looking, I said, God, what do you, 
He said, I want you to sing that I am your great. You guys are in He am. I am your great covering, says the Lord. I am your great covering, and under the shadow of my wings, no enemy can come in there. You are my great covering, Lord. You are my great covering, and underneath the shadow of your wings, my enemies cannot come in there. He said, I am your great covering, oh, I am your great covering, and underneath the shadow of my wings, your enemies cannot come in there. Oh my God, <laughs> you are my great covering, uh, you are my great covering, and underneath the shadow of my wings, your enemies cannot come in there verse 13 and 14 arise O Lord confront him cast him down deliver my life from the wicked with your sword with your hand from men, from men, O oh Lord, from men of the world who have their portion in this life and whose belly you fill with your hidden treasure. They are satisfied with children and leave the rest of their possession for their babes. Rise up and confront them, O oh Eternal One. Make them pay. By your sword, set me free from my wicked enemies. May your rescue find me here. By your hand, save me from my enemies, eternal one. Save me from men whose hopes are rooted in this world. But as for those you cherish, may they feast on all you have set aside for them. May their children never be in need. May they have enough so their children will inherit their wealth. Rise, God, and confront them. Challenge them with your might. Free me from their clutches and rescue me from their rage. Throw them down to the ground, those who live for only this life on earth. Thrust them out of their prosperity and into their portion in eternity, leaving their wealth and wickedness behind. So we're going to sing it straight out of the New King James. Arise, O Lord, deliver my life with your sword. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O oh Lord, you delivered my life with your sword. He did on the cross. You arise, O oh Lord. You arise, O oh Lord. You're risen, Lord, and you deliver my life with your sword. Oh Lord, yes, you've risen, oh Lord, you delivered my life with the power of your sword. I will not fear, with your hand you've delivered me, Lord, I will not fear. By your hand and your sword. Check it. Arise, O oh Lord. Arise, O oh Lord. You have delivered my life by the power of. He defeated all the principalities and the powers. In Philippians, it says it. He made an open show of the kingdom of darkness, 
rulers of this current wicked age. Isn't that awesome? We find it. He dealt with that which was trying to wear us out and kill us and take away godly destiny and length of days. But he came by the power of his life, which is the power of a sword that cannot be defeated. Arisen, oh Jesus, you've delivered our life with the power of your. The sword is the word, and the word is the sword. You have arisen, oh Lord. You have arisen with healing in your wings. You delivered my life by the power of your sword. Verse 15, as for me, I will see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake in your likeness. But as for me, my hope is to see your face. When I am vindicated, I will look upon the holy face of God. And when I awake, the longing of my soul will be satisfied in the glow of your presence. As for me, I will continue beholding your face in righteousness, rightness, justice, and right standing with you. I shall be fully satisfied when I awake to find myself beholding your form and having sweet communion with you. As for me, because I am innocent, I will see your face. I will gaze at your face until I see you for who you really are. Then I will awaken with your form and be fully satisfied, fulfilled in the revelation of your glory in me. Wow. One more time, the Passion, Carla, verse 15. We finish Psalm 17. As As for me, because I am innocent, I will see your face. I will gaze at your face until I see you for who you really are. Then I will awaken with your form and be fully satisfied, fulfilled in the revelation of your glory in me. We gotta sing that as we close it out. Seal it up deep in our heart. I will gaze, I will gaze at your face, O Lord. I will gaze at your face, O Lord. And I will gaze at your face, O Lord, until I see you for who you really are. Come on, stay with me. Let's capstone it, yeah. And I will gaze at your face, O Lord. I will gaze at your face, O oh Lord. And I will gaze at your face, O oh Lord. Until I see you for who you are. Oh, come on, do that again. Yeah. And I will gaze at your face, O oh God. Oh Lord, yeah.
and I will gaze at your face, oh my God. Come on, sing it with me, it's getting in your spirit. And I will gaze at your face, oh Lord, until I see you for who you really are. Man, there's not much better than that right there. I will gaze there, yeah, and I will gaze at your face, oh Lord. And I will gaze at your face, oh Lord. And I will gaze at your face, O oh Lord, until I see you for who you really are. Until I see you for who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see the hearts and thumbs flying for those that are loving Psalm 17. The cry for justice, you hear the cry for justice. And we end up with a huge revelation. I will gaze at your face until I see you for who you are. This is Psalm 27, verse 4 as well. Remember, DGI is dwell, gaze, and inquire. If you start dwelling in his presence, if you keep gazing on his beauty, you inquire in his temple, ask any question. And you're going to get the revelation, D-G-I, gay, dwell, gaze, and inquire. And this last verse, verse 15 of Psalm 17, brings it home. Thanks for shopping. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Man, awesome. Well, I'm going to take a few minutes and, uh, uh, and just tell you uh, tomorrow, on Tuesday, we're doing Christmases for worship. It's going to be very powerful. This is, I took the album out, of course. This is the album I did many years ago because I got really fed up with the commercialism. Um, you know, that was really more about buying some stuff and, you know, trying to cover your family and give a few gifts or something. And uh, I got so tired of it. I said, man, wouldn't it be awesome if it was mandated by some president somewhere that if you're going to give 10 gifts this Christmas, three have to be handmade. I know you didn't hear me, so I'm going to say it again. Just think if we had to go back to making handmade gifts, at least a portion of our gifts had to be handmade. It would have so much more love and energy and heart and all that stuff in it. Uh, but at least if you're going to be gift giving, really take it to heart. Be led by the Holy Spirit, even in your gift giving. Somebody goes, well, I don't know about that. I said, well, no, I do know about it. Because you can have a lot of fun. It doesn't have to be super expensive. But back to the point, Christmas is for worship is a CD I did many years ago. And here's what it is. It's carols sung in worship medley form. Meaning I took my top, my favorite carols. I'm a carol specialist. For some reason, people laugh at me when I say that, but I did study them at Webster and the story behind the songs. And almost all of the great carols are based in the truth of the gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the angels appearing and the shepherds out in the field. And so we're going to bust that out tomorrow. Have some friends come. Uh, we're, it's going to be on at 4, but it's going to be restreamed at 830 and restreamed at 8.30 means central time, so it's 9.30 Eastern, it's 7.30 Mountain, 8.30 Central, 7.30 Mountain, and 6.30. Uh, I know Lynette, you know, our good friend and my secretary for years, said, hey, I've got three families, I think she said California, Oregon, and Colorado, I want to see it. And so we're doing it early uh, so they can kind of get in the, the Christmas spirit, but also know the truth, carry the truth of Christ being born of a virgin. This thing is huge, man. So anyway, tomorrow, if you, you know, call friends or text them or email them, whatever you want to do, and say, hey, man, it's going to be a true celebration of the birth of Christ with the scriptures. By the way, we have narrations in it, and Carla will be doing the narrations. There's six scripture narrations out of Micah, Jeremiah, and out of Luke 1 that are so powerful. That's the first thing. Number two, tomorrow is Giving Tuesday. And right now, 
everything you give, the project that is before us right now is we've been approved on the Sid Roth program, actually the Sid Roth network, It's Supernatural, to take all this stuff we've been doing, edit it down into about 28 minutes, and it's gonna go out to all their subscribers. And I think he has close to 60,000 people that have subscribed to the It's Supernatural, or his program, Sid Roth. Many of you know who this is. And so I was on there, I, I'm a, I think it was two years ago, I didn't look it up. But what will happen is that we just need to collect uh, finances right now to do the editing, get all the work done, cover me and Matt. December will be packed out. And, uh, you know, this is November 30th, but December starts tomorrow. But by December 20th, whatever we're going to put on in January, we're starting January 4th of 2021. Uh, we've got to have all those shows, our programs, our, our live stream edited down. Um, they said, hey, we'd love to have you on five days a week. I go, what? I don't think so. When they even said that to me, a daily program, wow. But we've already done it. So here's, if you look at March 19th to June, it was, it was almost, I think it was June 19th, three months later, 191 days, we had COVID, we had to stop for a minute. But we did 91 days straight. Now we've been going another uh, four months. We have 200 of these streams, live streams, and they just need to be edited down. So if you would, you know, go deep, if you've got an extra 25 or 50 bucks, whatever you can do, it's going to help us focus. I got to I edit all these down. I'm going to be a busy little beaver, a busy bee, the next two or three weeks, getting ready for December 20th. So I'm asking you to give. Tomorrow is Giving Tuesday for, you know, ministries around the world. So please give extra if you can. Also, I want you to pray because we've already had a couple breakthrough moments. I was looking at just doing Carl and I doing the narration. But I realized that would be short, uh, coming up short for people that want to hear me do worship. So the the way it's cut out, right, or the way it's timed out now, we'll have a 14-minute segment and a 12-minute 12, 12 segment, 26 minutes. They give you a commercial for your ministry to talk about, you know, resource and all that. So we're going to do three or four minutes of open worship at the beginning of every show, every program or episode. So um, let me know that you're hearing me. Let me see the response on here. Uh, <laughs> Beata, she said, I grew up making presents. It was so much more personal. <laughs> and that's Germany right there. So it, it, it's really cool. But I want to make sure you get what I, I need you to pray really just for wisdom for me as an editor. I've got to go back now. And well, I'm already choosing the Psalms we're going to start with. But just think January 4th, we could be on Monday, Thursday, or we could be on Monday, Wednesday, and we could be on three times a week on, on the Sid Roth, Sid Roth Network at Supernatural and start touching thousands of more people. Because somehow we have to grow this stream. For, for me and Matt to be in full-time ministry, keep doing this. We can't just count on a couple hundred people to support us every month. I do appreciate what's happened the last like seven, eight months, but we're going to have to grow this. So it's a prayer point to grow this stream, but also grow the number of people we're reaching. And I'm going to tell you straight up what Dan McMahon, my videographer, said. He said, Kent, he called me in February before COVID, we ever knew it was happening. And he said, Kent, I, you know, I'm, I'm telling you as a spiritual man, as a friend, a deep friend, he said, you've got to get um, some of your worship and whatever you're going to be doing, you've got to get it on Sid Roth's network because there's 55 to 60,000 people. These are your people. They're looking for you. Are you guys hearing me? And I totally agreed. This is February before we broke out and did Psalm a day and COVID and all that stuff. So here it is. The opportunity is here right now. So January 4th, we can start our choice one through five days a week. I don't, I know Carla was saying three or four would be plenty to take Friday off or whatever. And then we got to get people to actually go see it. <laughs> You know, but, but they're needing programming on their network. So anyway, enough said. So if you'll give, uh, you know, this week or tomorrow during uh, Giving Tuesday, I'd really appreciate it. And then we're on our way to higher levels in the Lord, higher levels in the Lord. And so, Father, we pray right now, lead us and guide us deeper and higher by your Holy Spirit. 
we, we pray out of this dream today. Lead us deeper and higher in your heart, Father God, but also higher in the things of the Holy Spirit. For Jesus, you said these things in greater. You said these things, the miracles you did in greater. Somehow, Lord, we want to come up right alongside of that and actually do the word. Do the word of God at a really high level. So I'm praying for me and Carla and Matt and all of our friends right now, Lord. We need your divine touch to keep carrying us there. Lead us and guide us by the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, and everybody said amen and oh, hallelujah, oh, happy day. <laughs> all right, we'll see you tomorrow. Remember.